Hello everybody, January is almost over. Only two more days left. And we definitely have plenty of snow out there. Tons and tons of it. And Don is out there snow blowing right now, but he's out on the other side of the house. And we have plastic on all the windows, so we can't look at him anyway, but he's, he's out in that direction. But we can't see him anyway. Right, Colby? What's going on, Colby? What's up? Aw, you're a good girl. Aw. Speaking of Colby, check our community tab because I entered her into a photo contest put on by our power company. And it's free to vote. So go ahead and vote if you think Colby is cute. I picked the cutest picture I've ever taken in my life and it happens to be of her, so. It's in the community tab. You just follow the link and then you go to vote and there you go. Colby will be thankful. Right, Colby? Right? Hey, look, look up, look up, Colby. Here's White Storm. What's up, White Storm? Buddy. Buddy, good boy. Yep, everybody's just chilling out. Smokey. And here's Spotted Leaf. You don't really belong there, but there you are anyway, right? On the counter. But for dinner tonight, we're going to have salmon patties made with this. And fried potatoes and onions made with potatoes Don canned. And I think I'm going to get some buns out to thaw because we should make fish sandwiches out of them this time, which I've never done before. What's going on over here? What are you two arguing about? Buddy. Buddy. What are you looking for? White storm. Everybody. Everybody. You want treats, right? All right, I'll get you treats. So did you have fun out there? Oh yeah. Fun, fun. How was it? Snowy. Is it cold? Uh, not too bad. It's a little chilly out, but not too bad. Did the snowblower work? Because I know you said you were having trouble before. Uh, because it was uh, the snow was all wet and packy. Was there any mail? No. All right. I didn't think so. No, no fresh tire tracks. Yeah, plus I never got any... Uh, any emails from informed delivery, but like I said, sometimes they don't do that right. I'll get things in the mail that never did show up on my informed delivery, so we can't trust that. No. So Don's going to start cooking these fish patties, so I'll kind of show you how to do that. I'll show you what he puts in there. I mean, there's crackers, there's an egg, there's the fish. I mean, anybody who's made these before, it's pretty simple. And here comes Don with an onion. Is this all the ingredients? Yeah. So tell them what you're gonna do here. Well, right now I'm cutting up some onion. Uh, kinda, no, not too fine, but kinda minced a little bit for uh, the fish patties. So I put a little bit of onion in. I like to cut them up kinda good, you know. Don't have to be fine or nothing, but. Yeah? Yeah. That's a funny way to cut an onion. I use a cutting board. I am using you a cutting board. You want to cut your hand? I am using a cutting board. Looks like, you want your hand so you can cut your hand? <laughs> no, you don't cut all the way through. Why would you cut all the way through? Okay. Well, yeah, I've never seen you cut an onion like that before. What is this? You always do this? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know how I haven't seen it in almost eight years. Or eight years. So you're too busy sitting on together. your bum with your back turned towards me. Oh, whatever. Yeah, that's it for there. Okay. Onions. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then... I'm just going to in the pan for the fried, fried potatoes and onions, yeah. Yeah. He's got two cast iron pans out. Taters. Yep. 
And what are you using for oil? Um, pan spray. Olive oil pan spray? Yeah. All right. Well, whatever, whatever you have, whatever we want to use. You yeah. Know, don't have to be anything specific. But you don't have to use vegetable oil because that's fattening. Right. Ridiculously. Yeah. Bring this liquid off. Yep, time to drain out the fish. Okay. I know that looks yucky, but it comes out really good. Not there. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. What are you taking? Oh, the spine? Yeah, just the spine, yeah. The rest of the bones can stay. Yeah, because they're, they're, you don't even notice them when it's done. Yeah, they're, right. I just like to pull out the spine ones because uh, it's a little hard for me to uh, chew those ones up. We opened a can of fish. You know what that means, right? <laughs> well, that's all the spine White bones storm. that was in here. Here. There you go. Uh oh, here comes the rest of them. They all want fish. There. Everybody wants fish. Fish, fish, fish. <laughs> okay, and then the egg. Yep. Egg. Squashing it up. Yeah. I'm not going to use the whole pack. About half of it. Don't have to do that measurement. And then you just start mixing, right? Yeah. Gonna use a bigger bowl. That's what I was but, gonna say. It seems like that would have been better with a bigger bowl. Yeah, well, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> yeah, should grab something bigger. Should have got the bigger one. Oh, an ice cream bucket. There we go. <laughs> Flop. Dory, I wiped my butt and didn't wash my hands. Oh, whatever. That better not be true. Yeah. Don't you feel all brown all over my hand? Ha ha. I wiped my butt and didn't use any TP. Sure. And the logic of the egg is to help uh, give it texture to help hold it together as like a uh, like a binding agent to keep it from wanting to fall apart when you go to cook them. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys are wondering what it smells like, it smells like fish. <laughs> but yeah, this pink salmon, canned pink salmon, makes really good fish patties. Yeah, it always has. Now you're making balls. Yeah. Right now I'm just balling them up to... So I want to try and get them all about equal size. Yeah, so we each get two. Yeah. And because I like to make them into balls so that way you can look at them and get them, you know, pretty close in size. Yeah. You know, that way we can try and keep it fair. You just smash them out flat, kind of like a hamburger. hamburger. Yeah. You don't get any shrinkage or anything, so. Do you put anything on after you put them in the pan? Nope. No salt, no pepper, no nothing like that? Nope. All right. I'll leave that up to uh, who's ever eating them to uh, season them themselves. I'm not gonna. I never have. Never have I.
There you go. That's fish patties. Then you just fry them until they're done. For about how long? Uh, I like to fry them until they get, get a little bit of golden brown on the uh, outside edges, you know, on the outside. Um, and the, before the onions can cook a little bit, you know. All right. So, usually until they're golden brown. And then as for the fried potatoes and onions, you just fry both in the pan, you know, drain them. And What seasonings do you put on that? Just straight up salt and pepper. Why are you trying to open a jar with a can Because opener? some of these can openers have a little thing where you can, you know, but I don't got them. There. But, yep, I'm not going to show you how to do the fried potatoes and onions because that's pretty simple. And there we go. How much longer do they have to go? Oh, uh, well, you can call it done whenever you want. Okay, that looks good. And here are the fried potatoes and onions, and they look good too. And there we have it, they're all done. I put tartar sauce on there. So this is gonna be way better than the filet of fish. We know that for a fact. So if you wanna make fish patties, that's how you do it. Don, Don wants to give me more potatoes. He thinks I should be as fat as possible, right? Right? Now he won't answer me. Because <laughs> I took what I wanted and he gave me some more, but whatever. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. And we hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for subscribing because we couldn't do any of this without you and we, re we really appreciate it. Say good night. Say good morning. And we'll see you next time.